Hey guys, welcome to my Wednesday weigh in. But if you want, can we try again? Try again. Oh yeah. Okay, so I decided to make these weigh ins just a little bit more entertaining for you guys. Every single Wednesday, I'm gonna go on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, my name is Rarity Cat, R A R I T Y C A T. And I'm gonna ask you guys to ask me weight loss, weight gain weight journey type of questions because I wanna answer three questions per weigh-in. I just figured it would give me more topics to talk about because sometimes I'm sitting over here like, hmm, what do I say? So I'm gonna start off every single weigh-in with those three questions. The first one is, are you still planning on getting weight loss surgery? The answer is pretty simple. Why would I need weight loss surgery if I'm doing it on my own right now? Some people think I'm not losing weight as fast as I should, which I totally understand, but sometimes it's like slow and steady wins the race. If I can lose weight without surgery, then that's what I'm going to do. So currently in this moment, no, I am not interested in weight loss surgery. Next question is what are some really low calorie snacks when you feel like binging? I have been... My heater just turned on. Sorry if that's going to annoy you guys. I have been eating a lot of watermelon. If I feel a binge or like if I feel just like head hunger or boredom hunger, I allow myself to eat, but I only allow myself to eat watermelon. Watermelon is super healthy for you. It's a lot of water in that watermelon, hence water melon. It's a melon full of water. What can I say? And it really satisfies me. I love the crunch. I love the sweetness. I love the waterness. What is with me in water today? I, I don't know. And then if I'm really like, okay, I want a sweet moment and I don't want to deprive myself from that, this is what I have. Yasso, you're upside down. Yasso coffee poppables. It is only 60 calories per one. I have one and it honestly satisfies my craving. So thank you for these. Thank you universe for making these. I appreciate it so much. So the third question for this video is how much weight have you lost since the breakup? So as you guys know, I daily journal every single day and whenever I weigh myself, I always put my weight in my journal so I can remember. I actually went back to the day after Becky broke up with me. And since then I have lost 51 pounds. 51 y'all. I, I <laughs> I'm clearly speechless. If it wasn't for this question and someone asking that, I would have never known that the breakup actually was a really good thing for my weight loss. I know there are people out there who are like, the reason why Amberlynn's losing weight is because Becky's not there to get her junk food. Y'all, for the last year, Becky hasn't been getting me junk food. It's been myself. Instacart, I can literally instacart some hot cheetos right now if i wanted to uber eats runs 24 7 so if i want a 20 piece nugget and a mcflurry from mcdonald's i can totes get that at 3 a.m but i choose not to i'm just in a happier place for a million different reasons and it's helping me strive more for myself i feel super empowered to finally be the person that I've been waiting to be. It's like, I'm tired of sitting around, waiting around to be someone that I know I am on the inside. So it's time to do it now. All right, I'm rambling too much. Let's get to my weigh-in. So last Wednesday on October 20th, I weighed 509.6. That night I ended up having cheesy bread. Oops. Cheesy bread for me is a little bit of an over eight moment. It's not really quite a binge, but it's, it's definitely a moment where I'm like, shit, I am overeating. This is a bad choice, but I still do it anyway. The next day, October 21st, I weighed in at 508.8, which was a 0.8 weight loss. October 22nd was a 509.2, which I gained 0.4, which kind of shocked me, but I accepted it. October 23rd was a 508.4, which was down another 0.8. October 24th was a 507.0, so I was down 1.4. And unfortunately that day, I overate again. I ended up having Cold Stone as a dessert instead of reaching for my poppables and watermelon. I'm not perfect. And then later that night, I had cheesy bread again. So ooh, I knew I was gonna step on the scale the next day and not be happy. And I was right. On October 25th, I weighed in at 508.4, which was a 1.4 gain. And this was the day where I was like, enough cheesy bread. 
enough messing around. We have goals to reach, ma'am. And my goals reaching those are gonna taste so much better than any cheesy bread ever could. So October 26th, I weighed in at 507.0, which was a 1.4 weight loss. And then October 27th, I weighed in, which was today, at 506.2, which was a 0.8 weight loss. So this week, I have lost 3.4 pounds. Could be better, but I'm still happy with it. So in total, I have lost 66.2 pounds. That means I am 3.8 away from losing 70. Even Rarity's happy about that. 70 pounds for me is such like a pivotal moment and I'm even more excited for 75 because that's three fourths of 100 pounds. So as you guys know, I do have a weight loss goal of 499.8 by November 1st. I have five weigh-ins because I weigh in daily to lose 6.4 pounds to reach that goal. You guys will find out if I reach that goal on my next Wednesday weigh-in. I am going to try every single day I will not have cheesy bread. I will not have cold stone. I just really want to be in the 400s and it's coming up. It is coming soon and I'm so excited. It's like, I really hope that next way in, I could be like, I'm down over 70 pounds and I reached my goal. I don't want to hype anyone up because I could fail. 6.4 pounds and five weigh-ins, come on. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this weigh-in and I'll see you guys in my next one, bye. Oh, yeah.